the investment conditions perfect now David is uh, field looks good it doesn't look like it's a slightly gap might cut up a little bit but certainly in good condition and although it may be humid for this time of year I think the crowd cover but warm and ideal for good running rugby so the Yankees picks off and well claimed by J.P. Boston the captain of the Falker Wrapped up here from the base. Yankees and the board, the experienced older players. Let's start up in here. A real quick blow of the whistle there from Frodo Kuta. May well have been that man there, Freddy Urukia, who made the tackle and his adjust had not rolled away quick enough. A wobbly, but it's a great result for the Yankees. Well, instead of field, the Yankees are blue balls after being awarded that penalty. Take the driving ball with Sean Hunter off. Keep the deck. Dropping the scrum off. All right, through this deep, if you started J.P. Mostert, sterling work in the lineup. It's a missed opportunity by the home team. Hey. Hey. Coming in and out. Free kick, numbers. Oh, that's a real technical penalty as Lake Yamaro Kula taps and goes again. Bug sail. Five meters right now for home side, the blue ball. Maratula swings it on, but did not forward by Borza. Press up on it from the blue ball. Scrum down. Fast game, but it's put it. Perplexed about the penalty, I've got to be honest. It's easy chance that Olympia came in and out, but Donald was, was won by the Colcat, and then only sometime later did the penalty come as we see the little knock on right in the jaws of the defence. A good thankful pass to Freddy and Gaza, he managed to hang on. It's much heavier front row for the Colcat. That's a big weight advantage, 5 and 10 kilograms per person. In the deep and cheap at least. And the second row is the same. But the Yankees have scrapped the Falcon. With the advantage, Rooster. For Krita. Out wide, they've got a bit of space for Falcon. Some jazz and Taliyah. Look for some support. Pretty good time by the visitors. Out of door. Good target for the Falcon. Quick the ball. Rooster. There's the chance from the Montuana together with Adelo. Falker still retain position. Turn out a good from the dribbles. Martin Clarence was immovable once he got hands on the ball. There was a couple of attempts to clear him out. He just went on and there was not moving the big fella. Great steal. Another good kick from Sammy Yankees. Look at this. As the ball goes to ground, it was a nice little dart there from Rochdan. Hey, hey, Trey has just got hands on the ball and no one is going to move the big fella away. Yeah, good body position from Martin Dreyer. That was stolen in line out by the Falker. I'll oh, be pleased with that result. But not pleased by that result. Yeah, idea is good. Just execution letting them down to turn over ball. They wanted to put it out wide. Just quite a few passes and not a great job. Yeah, you know, turn over ball also. You know, your, your line up, the, the, the way the bats are set up and lined up, it's not quite perfect for attack play, but that's a, a dreadful pass out across in front of 
Go on, Chang Kang. He, he stuck a hand out and maybe she just did not put his hand out and let it go. But this is a very good attacking position now for the Blue Bulls. Space to the left, big line up to the right. Crouch. Bye. Set. One. on this side of the back. Dre and Strauss both got a bit of body action going there. He also put it down and thought for Chris Strauss. He's a big man, he's Chris Strauss, probably part of that weight advantage is on, under his shirt. Crouch. Five. Six. Better set piece for the Blue Bulls to impress the controls at the back. Fresno still in charge. Fresno goes over. It's a try. Powerful scrap by the home side. First try of the match. Now the first try for Gordon Fresno as well in the Super Sport Rugby Challenge. And for the Blue Bulls. Yeah, it's a real well controlled scrum effort from the packer forwards well controlled at the back by Bruin Prince he's very experienced and he controlled it well but most importantly it was a super effort from the front row the second row and the loose forwards to drive back a heavier Falca packer forwards Martin Gray may have come up but they carried on working did the blue balls leg drive was good and ultimately an easy score for Prince <laughs> Coaching staff enjoying that. A try. Uh, Bob is putting out of the contest at the end. So I'm putting the new start. Try Leach. Even for Sal, not a great clear and just went straight up. A chance for the Falker. Remind it. Yankees, great pass side wide. Bears. And he's true to have a good tackle on his opposite number. Use it now. Better clearance from Fonseil. Oh, his best box kick was a shocker. And I thought that Blue Bulls were lucky not to be penalised for being inside the 10 as that ball came down. One or two made a a little bit of an effort to the forwards to get out of that 10 meter circle, but uh, I'm, I'm not convinced they were all outside the 10 when the ball came down. Chris said he's good by the visitors. Richter frees himself as he finds Taliot. Hard working is a tiny hard powers his leg. Fourth meter. That's good. Looking for work center fill the flanker. Falker okay. on the go. Only if you find a bit of space. Can't free his arms to make that pass. Kirkwood comes into support. Kirkwood spins away with it. That five meters out. Kirkwood. He's short. I don't think that's going to count, irrespective of what happens. There's going to be a foul play report, and I'm pretty sure that Sean Ardendorf almost had his head ripped off the way he was ripped out of one of those ruck or mall areas. Yeah, and Fiat, just to alert Fro to put that to, to his watch, the head of Ardendorf, there's an arm that's going to go around his neck there. There it comes. Pro player number six. 
find you, it looks a bit worse first time around. It is around the neck. Oh yeah, that's going to be a penalty, surely. That'd be more though. He goes around the neck and he's bringing him back. Yeah, I think it's just a penalty. Okay. Yes. So that's all the angles. Knock on, you get a light back there, or a dangerous onion. And Leidendorf, high tackle under Sean Leidendorf, which will be a penalty for the Blue Bulls. Good hard leg drive. The carries were good. Almost getting over the line. They might, might not have counted, but they'll take uh, some great confidence from the fact that they've progressed so nicely. Built a couple of phases and, and almost got over the line. Lost two lineups already in the two balls. Shorter lineup, five men. Rule it, much better than the track by the home side. John Moore getting some momentum. Hulk has to regroup here, but Sal Dixon gets it up. That's Brian Leash. Fun Sal. On white to Prince Knock on from Bill Prinsler. It's a good, it's a good carry, and there's a bit of a knock on there, but can't help thinking that the, the long pass from the scrum off into the midfield is so easy to defend against. Balls in the air for so long, the defense can come up, take the space. The guy like Bill Prinsler or whoever the first receiver is is getting pretty much man and ball. Great scrum by the Falco. Grift it. Just using the footing. The throw the left hand side. Now the forwards get involved. They finally got a space. Powerful run from Kirkwood. Grift it. It's Charles. Of course, Charles. It's a loose ball. Yeah, good. Settles down towards Falco. Who got position? The defense from the Blue Bulls, hiring threat straight through the rack. And guard wide. Of course, if they're looking for some space, bears. That's a good tackle from Andy Struta. Yankees. Good reaction from the Falcon defense. Chance for the home side, the blue balls. Gorza cutting in field. Ponce looking for runners. Good work there from Johnny Kotler. It's Kumete. Jabulo Kumete. Kuhn competes, says you want it. Dian Kuhn. Of the great storming run, he 
be running from Sagar once you got away from the last tackle like that. The, the barnstorming India break from Freddie Wood is there just to go. That's a brilliant drive from the Parker. Horses here. Good work from Matt uh, Dana. Uh, in front of his face. Truth is going to the line. Good for support. He finds Papuka Toro. Second try for the Parker. Down to the fourth is there, flags are up, and a good strike from Up 
Yankees has once again taken the blue balls way down into Falker territory with a super kick to the touchline. Bristol goes up in the front of the line out. Another great set up by Gorsa. Comes away with it for the blue balls, but sell. Princeton, Dwayne Princeton. Good start for quite a few. The opposite number. Standard game being involved. On the left hand side, they go. Number two there swings it on out wide. It's shift hands. But one back in field. Good defense. It's two down. Going up reinforcements of the blue balls and that made pressure. The drafts man wide. They just stood back and watched. Good, good, good defense. Good defense from the Falker. And you did right. Can I say that? The mistake that blue balls have made is they needed to drive McCrone over the line. They were trying to put it into the scrum. He may not have been able to ground it. He may well have grounded it. But with the with the hold up too short of the line and the Falker piling in there. It's a good strong tackle from Tuta. And then in comes the support tackle from Janko who's managed to hold him up. Dolo's in there and no chance. Looks like this is not a reset. Falker with position. Once again they find space straight through the middle. Grant Janka. Oh, unable to hang on to it was Taliyad. No. Stiffly. Jake Stiffly. Conseil, plenty of numbers and space on the left hand side for oh, the blue balls and Skubetev who needs some support. Enslin make the stop. Just too slow for Conseil, but then get it out. Speech. Conseil looking for runners. Yankees speed to one. Good defense, well supported by Leidendorf. Enslin. Maratula. Got it. Gonna go forward then. Goes up. Six. Let's Bears. Each knock that on. Scrambling on defense, the Falcon. Wow, their, their little set move from inside oh, their own dead ball area was just, just brilliant, brilliant, wasn't it? Great breakout, Grand Janko was away. Well, you fancy the blue ball scrum here, yeah, wouldn't you? They've scored one push over tile already. <laughs> Had a bit of dominance in this area of the game. They've got some, some good angle moves that they've executed already to send their backs over the trial line. It's going to be a very hard situation for the Falker to defend. It's Conrad van Fier and Lacey Martin Drew. Crouch. Fine. Sit. One, it's one hit, not double hit. Don't pull back and hit again. We're on the front of the first steady set. I understand, I think, of course.
Lord Strauss. Five. Here in the stretch line. Six. Trying to get some baby confidence. Oh, that's a new man under a bit of pressure there. Oh, there's a couple of other referees may well have given the free kick in the direction of the Volker there. Having a bit of dominance. Right. Oh, mind you, there's a bit of a drive. Better from the blue balls. Keeping it in, but Sal finally digs through. Yankees! Has a go, Yankees. The power over, let's get it down. Okay, held up, strong. Held up is the call. We did have a look across at Stefan Feldenais for a right. bit of advice. He has the tackle hanging on for dear life was Warren Fortheater. Does Yankees get that down? Not yet, still trying. And... Try again, just hold on. Oh, maybe he did. You're on. Definitely a high tackle. Yeah, it's a good call. Didn't prevent the try. He did go over. Just couldn't ground it. Well, if there hadn't been another man coming in to support the tackle over the line, it would have been the tackle that prevented the try, I would guess. And in that case, yes. I think what we were understanding from Ian Kripp is that there might well be a you know, possibility of a penalty try in that situation. Not to be, penalty it is, and the Blue Bulls have chosen to go for the scrum. Same lineup as it was earlier when they scored with Stunder making the break and Arden off dotting down. Corner from here in the tight head. Crouch. Five. He's to get the Blue Bulls on the front foot. Good scrum, very powerful scrum from the Blue Bulls. French look for a second. Penalty try, Penalty try, point. yeah. Very dominant set piece from the Blue Bulls. <laughs> so no kick, no conversion required. It's a straight seven pointer and it's the result of this. It's a massive effort again from the front row, the second row, and the loose forwards of this blue ball's back and forwards. Poor Prince, who may well have scored the try there, but penalty try is much to the absolute disappointment of Rudy Jubert, coach of the Falco, who's sitting right next to us. Not looking particularly happy at the way his team are getting scrubbed. They're a little bit heavier than the blue balls, and yet they are getting murdered in the scrum. Restarts. Bears for the Blue Bulls. It's up to 22. Pansel deep in the pocket. Tony Yankees. And immense pressure. Good pressure is Lando. Not too much for the game. Nice attacking position for the Falcon. Good opportunity to strike back immediately. Good throw from Enzo, no, but top. Richter, find four feet in. Looking to strike out wide, but they've knocked it on. The Falker. Good rush defence from Johnny Kotz, I think it was. Came up quickly. Ernst Ladendorf not able to hang on. And probably not able to hang on because he looked up. The ball was high up in the air and the defender was coming into that midriff area of his. Got his hands down very quickly, but couldn't control the ball. A couple of mistakes have cost the Falco, haven't they? They've had a few clean breaks, the ball out to the left winger. Tayyadi didn't hang on now, the little drop pass in the, in the midfield from Wadendorf. Opportunity they've, opportunities they've certainly had, but squandered. Crouch. Trying to back on as well, Joel. Five. I mean, work a lot harder to get the ball more into to their back than that's where the striking power is. Bear in mind, it's one of the best tries that effectively come from the 
this far. One way, you cannot shift. Change your angle. Penalty try, push over try, and it was set move from a great scrum where Ivan have scored. And again, the scrum is dominant in winning penalties. Inside Tony Yankees goes direct looking for an inside ball. Stefan comes through, but sale French left soft hand. Murray drew it. Talia slowed him down. But sale to his captain, far side wide now. Ardenov, one of the try scorers for the blue ball. Good French left. Not too many options for the eight man. Francais looking for a bit of whip. Gorza, he's too hard on to it. Tony Kotze, he needs some support here at the Blue Bulls. Now Rakuna straight through the middle, has he got the legs? No, he has it. Desperate defense from the Falcon, can they hang on? That's been knocked on. Get them Creating opportunities as well. Joshua stays it just getting grounded. Well, lad, numbers out wide. This is it's a good, strong run from Stamner, but if he did deeper and, and managed to just hold his space a bit, he would have been time to make the quick hands, and there would no doubt have been a try scored on the outside. Should have scored anyway, to be quite frank. Good call from. Throw a hook, I realized immediately it was a knock on. No need to go upstairs, just make the call. So Edgar Maracula is getting some attention under the poles after his little storm. Set. Working hard, the blue balls, and the immense pressure. The Falcon with that penalty for the home side. Well, again, smoke. They're looking for points now. No more penalties. There's another penalty try. Two penalty tries. Two poor scrumming. Stay in the fight. Do not walk around. One. Thank you. Yeah, not, not staying in the contest whatsoever. The score is just. Joshua, stand up, Tony Yankees. Still well, Tony Yankees. Bought some time for the support players to get there as well. Look what do I know? First one is running out. I cannot allow you to play. Well, this pro disciplinary record of the Falcons so far, the softening continues. Nine penalties against them, two penalty tries, so that's effectively 11. 
against the zero penalties of the Blue Bulls. Oh, it's a great touch finder from Tony Yankees. Well, you can be guaranteed of one thing. When a ball pops out like this, once the ruck is formed, there are hands in. And oh, any relevant hands on first, but he's now on the floor. He's not in trouble to play the ball anymore. You know, the man in picture, Chris Truss, not rolling away first. Tanta has to roll away. Seconds until like the half time into Edgus, but looking forward to the break. Uh, Sterling line out. Richter, Fort Gieter. Another great pass being knocked on by Zandi Kurnia. No, well, the, the pass was out in front of him, and he wasn't really running onto it. And with this. You can see he's sort of meandering onto it, then he goes across a little and doesn't doesn't gather. Right. Some harsh words will be said at half time by Rudy Jubeck. You were fine, but he... Well, we can see him in the box next to us here. He's standing up already. He's probably going through his mind what he needs, what message he needs to get across to this Falker team. And the first message is going to be about the scrum. Scrum has been a constant source of pain and weakness so far this afternoon. Crouch. Five. Six. No, 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 it's a slip. It's a slip. Rock. Just for a few seconds, can't afford to go backwards, can't afford another penalty try against his team. Five, six. Interesting backline formation from the Blue Bulls, straight behind the scrum in a straight line. Yeah, I'm not sure they're planning on getting the ball though. It doesn't look like it at all, that's another good scrap. For a Prinsler in control, for a Prinsler goes over. Five. Also, good decision making must be said from the blue ball. The scrum is working. They're going to keep it in there, frustrate the Falker. Four tries coming from scrums, two of them penalty tries, and two by Prince Well, the last thing for Tony Young is he gets to convert this one, gets two points to his name as opposed to just a seven point try awarded. It's a great effort though. You, you, now we can look at the weakness in the Falk attack for as long as we want, but the fact that the Bulls have collectively managed to exploit it is really, really good. Good rugby, good control and good scrummaging. You'll be pleased with the first half, the Blue Bulls. Uh, there's the halftime score. Five tries to two, and the difference between the two teams have been at scrum time. Blue Bulls lead 35 points to 14. 